Hello friends welcome to Aurora Chess Club today i am going to tell you about the super strong chess grandmaster from Estonia Paul Karas Introduction Karas was born in Narva under supremacy of Russian Empire now Estonia he was born on January 7 1916 and he died on June 5, 1975, aged 59 at Helsinki, Finland. Keres in his childhood. Keres first learned about chess from his father and his older brother Harald. With the scarcity of chess literature in his small town, he learned about chess notation from the chess puzzles in the daily newspaper and compiled a handwritten collection of almost 1000 games in his early days he was known for a brilliant and sharp attacking style he probably played about 500 correspondence games at one stage and had 150 correspondence games going simultaneously in 1935 he won the international correspondence chess championship the success period of keres Karas became champion of Estonia for the first time in 1935. He tied for first with Gunnar Fredman in the tournament. Then he defeated him in the playoff match. Karas played on top board for Estonia in the 6th Chess Olympiad at Warsaw 1935 and was regarded as the new star admired for his dashing style. Karas had a series of success in 1935. He won in Tallinn with 7 and a half out of 9 then shared first second at Marje with Ruben Fein at 7 and a half out of 9 points 1 and a half points ahead of Elkain Kells dominated in Prague to claim first with 10 out of 11 and he won a team tournament in Vienna with 4 and a half out of 6 World Championship match denied Karas won the 1938 Euro tournament ahead of chess legends like Mikhail Potvinnik, Max Eu, Reshevsky, Alekhine, Capablanca, and Flop. It was expected that winner of this tournament would be the challenger for the world champion title in a match against world champion Alexander Alekhine. Hence, it was like a candidate's tournament. Due to these results, many chess historians consider Karas one of the greatest players in the history and the strongest player to never be a world champion. But unfortunately, the match never took place due to the World War II and Karas also started his university studies in 1937. He was nicknamed Paul II, the Eternal Second and the Crown Prince of Chess because he defeated nine world champions. more than anyone else in the history the hard times of keres the close of world war 2 placed keres in dangerous circumstances during the war war tournament at the 1946 Groningen tournament Karas returned to international play in 1946 and continued his excellent playing from that year and the next year The World Chess Candidates Tournament 1948 After Alekhine's death in 1946, he 
participated in the candidates tournament 1948 but till then his performance was far from his best the tournament was limited to five participants i got the next best listener though for gareth samuel shashki and maxi the event was played as a quintal round robin gareth finished joint third with 10 and a half five games winning only in the last round with Port Vinic when the tournament result was already determined. Suspicions have sometimes been raised that Gareth was forced to throw games to allow Port Vinic to win the championship. Just historian Tyler Kingston investigated all the available evidences and arguments and concluded that Soviet chess officials gave Gareth strong hints that he should not hinder Botvinnik's attempt to win the world championship. Botvinnik only discovered this about halfway through the tournament and protested to his strong that he angered Soviet officials. Kerens probably did not deliberately lose games to Botvinnik or any other player in the tournament. Later career After the World Candidates Tournament, he played in many tournaments like Pan 1947, Internal Soviet Training Tournament, Severodvik 1964, Mariansky Last Day 1965, etc. But he was already 40 years old and his play was far from the best. His major achievement in the period was of Yatigorsky Cup in Los Angeles, where he shared first with World champion Tigran Petrosian. Death. He died of a heart attack in Helsinki, Finland, at the age of 59. His death occurred while returning to his native Estonia from a tournament in Vancouver, which he had won. The Paul Kerris Memorial tournaments have been held annually, mainly in Vancouver and Tallinn, ever since. My notes on Kerris. He never cares about result. He just plays for his passion. He's an excellent sacrificer. His vision of calculating is just like a computer. He has great speed with accuracy. He has great opening. Thanks for watching.